You may have noticed that lately Prodigy has been making a lot of items that were previously unobtainable, obtainable again, and in this video I'm going to try to provide an explanation for why Prodigy might be doing this and what they might be leading up to in the future. Remember to take none of this as fact, this is all just speculation. Okay, so let's get into it now. So we do know that Prodigy added new quests to Firefly Forest in a beta update, and in that update, we fight Gerald, the Gerald boss battle, and we get these unobtainable rewards from the battle. This is the start of what they have been recently doing. And soon later, the parent reward box rewards were changed up and they included a bunch of previously unobtainable items as well. And this is the list of what was made obtainable through that rewards update. And then there was another beta update that gave us a new mini-boss battle in most of the elemental areas. And these bosses were the old start- the new starter pet evolutions, along with two others to fight as well. And you got to open a shadow crate that included three unobtainable items. Here is the list of what can be gotten from that update. So that means in the past couple of weeks, we have had a total of 40 items become obtainable again. That is a lot, and I'm quite sure that there are more coming. Prodigy most likely has even more plans on reintroducing old items back into the game, and I am excited to see these play out. Hopefully they happen pretty soon. But what is the point in making all of these items obtainable again? Well, Prodigy obviously wants people to be able to get the items that they might never have gotten. Like, I haven't got a lot of the items that they have made obtainable again. Well, quite a few of them I have never gotten, and that is exciting. I like to get those items, and I'm glad that I have that opportunity to. And I'm sure that's what Prodigy is thinking, that a lot of people will like to have the opportunity to get things that they have never gotten before. And in my opinion, it's a good thing. We need these items to be obtainable again. There's no point in having things being wasted because they are not able to be gotten by anyone at the current moment. So making ob items obtainable again is a great idea in my opinion. And of course, as I said, I hope Prodigy does a lot more of this. Well, what do I hope is the big goal behind all this? I hope that they are building up to the release of the Magic Mart. The Magic Mart was a kind of unfinished beta test update that happened for about a month in 2021 and has not been seen since. The basic rundown is that there was another spot added to the Wizard's Hotbar that allowed you to access a new shop called the Magic Mart. In the Magic Mart were six different items. All of these items were able to be gotten from past member boxes or past um, Coliseum Arena seasons. All of them had been previously unobtainable. And you could buy those different items from the shop with different currencies, gold and the five elemental currencies. Some were members only, and some were not for non-members. Not many people ever got the update, but those who did reported that each of their one, like, it was all randomized. None of the players had the same items in the Magic Mart, so that was very cool. And the time period of the Magic Mart was around a month long and supposedly it would change up in the next month and you would get six more items to buy that ha had been unobtainable. But the thing was, right after it finished, after that month finished, the Magic Mart disappeared for everybody and never came back. 
I actually got the Magic Mart on one of my alternate accounts, and I was definitely sad to not get it the next month, but it had disappeared for everybody. Here are a couple of pictures of what people received in the Magic Mart. Now, I really like the Magic Mart, the idea of the Magic Mart, and I really wish that it was in the game. Now that things have changed and more unobtainable items are becoming obtainable, I think that now is the perfect time for Prodigy to add the Magic Mart back into the game. It just needs to be polished up from how it looked, and then every month, every player would be able to buy six unobtainable items. That sounds like a great system, don't you think? So this is what I hope Prodigy is building up for, with all of these unobtainable items getting put back into the game to be obtainable again. I hope that the Magic Mart is coming soon. So, what do you think about all this? What do you think about the new ways that Prodigy has been making items obtainable again? And what do you think about the idea of the Magic Mart being back in the game? Let me know in the comments.